So there is this really interesting trick that you can do with Roblox's glass material. And it's the fact that you can change the transparency to anything that's above 1. Normally you can just go from 0 to 1 with the slider, right? But if you change it to anything that's above 1, for example 1.5, you can basically see what happens. It makes like this little ripple or a distortion effect. And it's also a little bit of a fish eye effect too. It's going to work in game, but there is also two different things that we need to do. If you don't see this in studio, you need to go into file, then the studio settings, and then down in the rendering, you're going to have the editor quality level. If I change it to for example 16, I'm still going to be able to see this, but on 15 it's going to disappear. So the editor quality level needs to be at least level 16. And there is also this thing that is going to disappear whenever I press off of it. But we can do a workaround by adding a highlight to the sphere. So now whenever I press off of it, it's still going to be there. But the highlight is also visible, so we can just disable it. And now we have this. So I'm just going to publish this place to Roblox, just to show you that it's going to work in game. And now after I'm loaded in, this sphere is going to be right here. And you can see the effect basically happening. So like I said, this glass material is able to produce this like ripple, distortion or a fisheye effect. And if I lower my graphics to 7, you can see that it's again disappearing. So not everyone might be able to see this depending on their device. And overall it's a pretty interesting effect, but there is also more to it. One of the things being that you can also increase the transparency to for example something like 2. And now it's going to make the effect stronger. So this is the first one with 1.5 transparency and this one with 2 transparency. You can see there is more distortion and my character is a bit further away. And also if you are curious, it's not really going to work if I let's say overlay these two bolts like this. It's not going to make the effect stronger and only the first one is going to basically be shown. But you could do pretty fun stuff with this. And now let me also change the transparency to something like 4. Now you can clearly see that it's more of a ripple than a fisheye or anything else. So basically the more you add, the more distorted it's going to be. And now I am able to realize that I have more than one reflection on this. So maybe you can even make like a proper mirror with this. This just looks like my Roblox character is going through mitosis. I think I'm able to get my own reflection. Oh my god, what the hell is going on here? Okay, I haven't seen this one previously. But yeah, I'm kind of able to get my own reflection right here. But it just feels like something that's really like hacky. And that's one thing with the transparency, right? And there is also another thing. And it's the fact that if I make all of these double-sided, it's also going to render this effect from within the sphere. So I'm going to disable it and enable it again. Imagine if this sphere, or let's just say you had a plane or like a view model, that would be in front of your camera all the time. Now, it would make things really interesting. Especially like this one, for example. Or even that. But that one I feel like might be a little bit too much. So like the first sphere right here, you can just see that it's kind of being distorted. It's kind of giving like this warped feeling to it. And the next one is a bit more... yeah. Maybe you could make like really interesting portal transitions with this. But this one... yeah. I don't think I need to leave a comment on this. <laughs> Here is just me trying to record a tutorial and just getting distracted. Okay, and I don't know what this thing is. Holy. Imagine trying to play a Roblox game like this. Let me just try making this sphere like a bit longer and just zooming my camera through this. So yeah, actually making like a portal effect would work. But the sad thing is that this is only going to work on higher graphics. Oh my god, what's going on in my character? I can make myself look fat. This just reminds me of like these distorting mirrors that make your reflection look funny. So that's really cool. So yeah, that's basically with this being double-sided. And now let me show this on different meshes. 
since these spheres are meshes, right? And you can also, of course, use it on a part. If I, let's say, add a part, make it encore, change the transparency to like pre, and then change this one to glass, and then, of course, add a highlight, it's also going to work on basic parts. So you can, of course, scale, make longer, and so on, right? So just having something like this part is also going to work. And now that is also really interesting, like having your character in this box made from these mirrors. And this is just really trippy. But anyways, another thing that I wanted to show with this is that you can actually also put this on a different mesh. So I have a knot mesh and a teapot mesh. And now these are also going to work if I add the same effect to them. So again, just a glass material with like, let's say, free transparency. And then with a highlight. And then here it is a see-through teapot. And then the double-sided is also going to work on this, but I wouldn't really recommend it. But you can also see how the different shapes, for example this handle compared to this top part, also kind of give different distortions. And I wish something like this was implemented as an actual shader, instead of doing something hacky like just changing the transparency to above one on a glass material. Because this is kind of a bug and not really a feature, but it shows you that Roblox Studio is actually capable of doing something like this. But for some reason they just don't want to implement any like mirror shaders or anything else. And there is also this knot. I picked this one because this one you can see the topology of some faces being smooth and then some edges being sharp. So I'm just going to duplicate the highlight and change the transparency. And now you can also see this on this material. So you can make some really interesting stuff with this. So we can see that this little trick also works on different meshes. And to talk a bit more about the highlight, if you change the field to 1, it's going to completely just overlay the effect. So having it at like 0.5 or lower is good enough. And the outline I'm just going to make transparent. So now this effect is also going to have a color to it. And it's also giving like this crystallized look basically. And since this highlight is also always on top, it's not going to work if I let's say add a part and just try to see the glass through. Because it's not going to render the material, it's only going to render the highlight. And now let me quickly just go into Blender to make something else. And it's just going to be a half a cube. Since this cube, if I go into the face orientation right here, you can see that these faces are pointing outwards and these ones are pointing inwards. So these ones aren't going to be visible in studio unless you check the double-sided property. And now I already have the model in studio so I'm not going to export this but I just wanted to show how this was made. So let me just put this half cube into workspace and now imagine that you have something like this. And if I select double-sided you will be able to see it from two sides which is going to be a bit interesting also. Since now I would be able to see this one basically as a whole thing but from this side I'm also able to view through these faces. I also forgot to disable the collision right here and also the double sided for now. So this is going to allow you to make like a one way door and I lost it just oh, right here. So whenever you go through it and then turn around it's going to have this wall right here. Okay, and also the notice but this one is kind of like revealing my character like this. So that's cool. But what I wanted to say is that if Roblox doesn't patch this, or actually implement something on the engine side, you could make some really interesting games with this. I've already seen this on the dev forum, that people are using this in their builds, and it's just really nice to have something more advanced that gives a lot of depth into a build. And I know that some people might also ask what happens if you change the transparency to something like maybe 99. So I'm just going to show you on these two examples right here. That is just going to create a lot of interesting distortions like this cone right here. So yeah, here is me just going into a black hole with like three different reflections. Where I can even make myself look really tall. <laughs> or even do something like this. But all of this is basically just going to break a little bit. And now whenever this is going to be double-sided and I get into it, then yeah, I just kind of going to make everything, I don't know, motion sick. But imagine if you could use this as a, I don't know, underwater helmet or something. 
And now the last thing is that, imagine that you had an overlay of this on top of a different material. So I'm just going to grab one from my asset pack that you can of course get by becoming a channel member. But more info on it in my asset pack video that I recommend you watch. But anyways, we basically just have this material right here. So I'm just going to copy its position. And then also its size. And now this is giving a really weird effect because it's being overlaid on top of each other. But if I make this outer sphere, that's without the material right here, where besides the interesting effect that it gives right now, where this sphere kind of looks like an egg, if I just make this one a little bit bigger, it's going to contain the metal inside of it. And then we are able to have something like, I don't know, this? I can also be changing the transparency of the outer mesh. You can see that the more I add, the smaller the sphere inside is going to be. And now this is going to look like it has some kind of a blob inside of it. But yeah, that's basically going to be everything for today. So if you like to support the channel, and like I said, if you want to support me more, you can become a channel member, and also remember to subscribe. But that's going to be everything for today, so thank you guys for watching, and see ya.